Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video about how to get a smaller waist. And if you're new, my name is Marina Christensen. Today I want to talk about waist trainers and if you haven't seen my previous videos about how to get a small waist and tips that will actually shrink your waist, make sure to watch these ones too. I also have a playlist for you that you can watch all of the videos that are related to this one in one row. Before we jump into this video, make sure to click the like and subscribe button down below, hit the little bell so that you always get notified when I upload a new video. And let's start with talking about waist trainers. Waist trainers aren't as harmful as people, as many people make them sound like. So waist trainers aren't like corsets where you will squeeze your waist together and all of your organs will be pushed somewhere else and it's super stiff and tight and you can't breathe anymore. And this is not what waist trainers are about. Waist trainers can be very beneficial for your health and fitness. First thing I want to talk about is what you have to watch out when you buy waist trainers. I have mine here. Um, by the way, I started waist training. I wrote it down on find it on May 24th in 2017 so it's like about two uh, about three years actually like literally three years I have mine here and this is my first waist trainer first you have to watch out for the quality Quality doesn't mean that you have to pay a hundreds of euro or dollar for a trainer. I think I spent it 40 or 50 euro on my trainer. It was 70 and it was like off. It was like 20 euro off or something. And I got this one. And this is the size extra small or extra extra small. I don't know anymore because you can't read the label. But it was the smallest you can get there. Because I'm really tiny. I'm really I'm really tiny at my waist is very small naturally. How to know that your waist trainer is good quality? First you see it at the material. I mean, I wore it three years for almost every single day. And you see that I wore it, but it's such good quality that you still can wear it and I still do wear it. A waist trainer is not like a corset. A corset is very stiff. So this is a general waist trainer. And there are also thermal ones. I will go into this later. But waist trainers are much more flexible. So the general one is a little bit stiffer than the thermal one because you train with the thermal one, thermal, thermal one, and the standard ones you can wear the whole day and you actually don't train with them. You see, you can bend it and it's no problem. So of course your whole body will be a little bit stiffer but you can move like you do in general. Then the next thing you have to watch out is that your waist trainer already has the hourglass shape and isn't just a straight line. For this, hold the waist trainer and you see, I, I don't know. I don't want to put it together but you already see that it has a little hourglass shape to it. The upper part where your ribs are should be a little bit smaller than the lower part where your hips are because you naturally have wider hips than you have ribs. Then this one has three hooks and you can, yeah, it should hold really good together when you hook the hooks. Another thing you should watch out is that you buy the right size. So don't go so don't buy a too small one because this is not 
beneficial for your body and don't buy a too large one because then you won't see any results at all the last thing you should watch out for is what you need the trainer do you want to wear it on a daily basis in everyday life when you're doing ordinary things like grocery shopping or meeting a friend or do you need or do you want a trainer where you actually can train with so if you really want to train you should go and get a thermal one because the thermal one as i said is even more flexible than the ordinary ones and it has the effect to make your belly area sweat more how to use a waist trainer so when you first try on your trainer it will be difficult to wear it because it's most likely like it's very stiff because it's new it's brand new so you have to squeeze a little bit i recommend to start from the bottom to the top and i will show you how i wear my trainer some people recommend to wear a shirt or leggings or something underneath the trainer in general i don't do it but for this video i wear tights underneath start from the bottom and then when you first try on a trainer it, it will probably slide upwards so make sure to pull it downwards that it fits perfectly and start wearing it in the first hook row and then you can build your way to the third one i personally now wear the first few hooks in the second row and then i go where my waist is um, i go into the third row and on the top part i go back into the second row i don't want that my hips or my rib area is squeezed together any more i just really want to concentrate on the waist by the way there are brands out there that not only uh, sell like one waist trainer lens because they're you know smaller people have a smaller torso and some brands do also sell waist trainers for smaller torsos so if you need something like that watch out take a look at at the smaller torso waist trainers you can wear a trainer whenever you feel comfortable in the mornings in the afternoon in the evening while training or if you don't want to train you can wear it in another daytime i and many other people do not recommend wearing a trainer when you're eating or for too long and definitely not while sleeping as I said, waist trainers aren't harmful and in general nothing should happen but when you overdo it, it's not beneficial, it will go the other way and it yeah, maybe will hurt or harm your body, so don't do that. So don't overdo it, go slowly. Start with one to two hours to get a feeling for it and then you can wear it up to five hours in a row this is my personal recommending i wouldn't wear it for longer than that period of time at the moment i rarely use and wear my waist trainer because i need something that is even tighter on my waistline i have a very small waist and it's not so much working anymore for me maybe i have to get a customized one but that's not what we want to talk about we want to talk about trainers in general the last point i want to talk about is the beneficials of the waist trainers they're not only beneficial when it comes to fitness but also for your health but we will start with the fitness aspects when wearing a waist trainer your abs will be flexed even more because it stiffens your body a little bit but but you still can move it will support the concentration of the contractions when you're training on your abs in your belly area and if you have a thermal trainer you also will sweat more on the belly area so you will lose a little more fat i guess 
I don't know if this is scientifically proved or something, but this is what the trainers always say and what it's in the caption and description of the trainers. But for sure it will concentrate the contractions more on your belly and area and it will support a straight back when doing plank exercises because it's stiffer and yeah this way again all of the concentration is very much on your ab area and this is what we want and a few health aspects are for example if you have neck and back pain waist trainers can help with it because it will straighten your back this is what trainers are about they straighten your upper body it fixes your posture because you have to sit and stand upright again your whole upper body will be a little bit stiffer because of the waist trainer and you're not so much likely to bend forward like so some people even claim that weight trainers can help with breathing because again it straightens your upper body and your lungs have a better volume they're not squeezed together i don't know but people claim that this can help with your breathing and this is my video about weight trainers and they're not evil they really aren't. They can be very beneficial for your health, your fitness, your body feeling. And you don't have to wear it while training. You can wear it underneath your dress to look, to look even more snatched in the evening when you're going out to the clubs with your friends. I don't know what you're doing when you're going out. I don't go out. No, literally, I don't go out. If you want a recommendation for waist trainers, I recommend Coco Lily. She has a YouTube channel, she has her own brand called Waist Cartel. Sadly, not sponsored, but I really can recommend her. She's a lovely person and she is waist training for years and years and has very good quality waist trainers. I will leave her a link down below so you can check her out. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video will help you and maybe it has lightened your thoughts about waist trainers and now you want to get one yourself. That would be amazing. Leave me a comment down below if you already have experience with waist trainers and what you think about them overall and we will see you next week again. Goodbye.